Hello, Craig Birch here for Tunks and Tales at Wolverhampton Civic Hall for the 2017 Grand Slam of Darts. I have here another one of our group game winners in the in the opening evening session. The Battle of the Websters saw Mark come out on top against Darren and uh, Mark back in Wolverhampton after a couple of years out, and you must be very pleased to get off the get off the board with a win. Yeah, yeah, please, because that was a, a tough game. Darren's playing really well. I think he's one of those players that you look at when he when he plays, he gives everything. And I knew he wasn't, you know, he wasn't going to let go easy. I mean, the one five six killed me a bit there, but can't say I was shocked. That's what he does. So, a big win for me. I mean, it's it wasn't sort of lose your out, wasn't knockout format tonight, but it does help winning that first game. So I've got to build on that now. And um, whoever that, I don't know if I'm playing. Obviously, I'll be playing Danny or Daryl tomorrow. But it's going to be tough. It's a tough group. I think it's really tight. And um, so it's important to win that first game. Of course. And you, are you pleased with the way you're playing at the moment? You're pleased with the way you're performing? Because obviously you've had your struggles as well, form-wise, in recent in recent months. But now it looks like the old mark is starting to come back a little bit. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, I, but yeah. I'm pleased that because I had a really bad game last week in um, the World Series of Darts finals. A really bad game. Just nerves got the better of me. But the good thing is the Grand Slam came around so quick. It didn't give me time to dwell and mope on it. I just sort of switched off from that and got ready for tonight. And uh, I'm glad I've got a tough group. I, you know, it's. Uh, tough players and it'll see what I'm made of. Yeah, of course, obviously you're, you've got your experience with the BDO, this is the only competition where BDO players are invited to come and compete and so on. Do you like that element of it that you get to play the BDO lads who you normally wouldn't see for, on the tour for the rest of the year? Is that, you know, nice to play new te new players? I suppose new players come on all the time. But. Yeah, well, I played in it twice a BDO player, so it's, I think it's um, probably been pivotal to where I am now. I, I, um, I loved coming over and playing, um, I had no hesitation coming over playing, uh, and these lads, fair play to them, they're, they're good players, do you know what I mean, they get, um, they get a bit of unfair stick now and then, but you, know, you saw Glenn this afternoon play brilliant, and I, I think he won't be the only surprise, it, it's, it's good for them, it's good for us, it's new challenges, and um, yeah, I, I think that's the best element of the tournament, it helped me out early in my career, and I, I you know, I think it'll help these guys. Yeah, obviously, Gary Anderson said earlier it was coming over here playing as a BDO player in Wolverhampton at the Grand Slam that persuaded him to make the switch to the PDC. He said he wished he'd done it years earlier. Is that, have you got similar sort of thoughts about your journey here? Yeah, yeah, well, like I said, me and Gary sort of switched at the same time. So when we came over as BDO players, we, we sort of kept tabs and stuff and we, um, we did okay when we were here. And you, you're playing against good players, you know I mean? It's, and I think, I think we've got the depth um, than the PDC, I think the BDO guys admit that, but their top players are really good players, and they, um, you know they won't be out of place in this competition. So it, it, it's a different challenge, and it's one we've got to accept. You know what I mean? If you want to be, if you want to be good in this sport, you've got to accept challenges. I think we all do that. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, you pretty confident you can have a good, good run in this, or is it just you, you play with no pressure and just seeing where you get on, or you think I'd love to reach this stage and that stage, or is it you the sort of person who puts targets on yourself, or you just play and work for the best? Pretty much. I never, I never play without pressure because even if there's, you know, probably people would have, would have mocked my fantasies get through this group, but I'll put pressure on myself. I think I can. I'll, I've got goals that I want to achieve in this tournament, and. Um, yeah, it's yeah, self pressure, whatever. But yeah, I don't feel it's a free ride just because it's a, a group format. You've you've got to play to win every game. Yeah, are those goals that you keep in sort of under your hat until you reach those goals, or is that something you can reveal to the viewers, or is it keep it keep it keep cards close to your chest scenario? No, no, I'd be foolish to tell you my goals. It's just in case it doesn't go as a plan. But no, no, I've got um, I've got aims. That, you know, I you know I had a bad weekend last weekend, so I'm pleased with that tonight. It showed a bit. I'd have been a bit concerned if I'd had another shocker tonight after last week. So it's good that I can put that um, game against Simon last week just to bed. It was just a bad night. We all have him. And um, it's all forgotten about now. Okay, excellent. Fantastic. Thanks very much for your time, Mark. Congratulations yeah. on your victory night. We hope to see you again. Cheers. Thank you.